attack of the show. Attack. All right, my guest tonight in Los Angeles, editor for Chud.com, Devin Faraci, joins us again. Devin, welcome back to The Loop, sir. Well, thank you, Kevin. Uh, always a pleasure to have you here. I know you were at the screening that I was at as well for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Opens up later this week. You obviously saw the film. Right. Give us a, like a, a spoiler-free mini-review, if you could. This is the very best mummy movie yet, without a doubt. <laughs> So okay. that pretty much sums it up. I mean, it's sort of on well, okay. the level of those good, kinds of films. Good mummy film. How does it? How is it as an indie film? It's you know, it's it doesn't stand up as an indie film. It's the least of the indie films, without a doubt. It just is. It's full of CGI. It's full of corniness in the wrong way, and uh, it's fun, but it just does not stand up to the classics of the original trilogy. Now, Devin, when you say it's full of CG, do you say it as one of those 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 purists who says, "Wait, the old indie films didn't use much CG. This should have none of it in there," or do you think they overdid it with the CG? They have bad CG in this movie, which baffles me. I mean, there's a scene where there's a, a fight on the back of two jeeps. That's all CG. It looks like a video game. I don't understand how Steven Spielberg could be spending $200 million in this movie and end up with that kind of CGI effects. It's nuts. Well, how, how does he end up with great raving reviews from magazines and newspapers then if, if, if the internet can't seem to stand it and if you don't like it as well? Where's the disconnect? I mean, here's the thing, is that as a movie you're going to go see on a, on a Friday night that just got out of the heat for two hours, it's, it's a fun time. But as an Indiana Jones film, it doesn't hold up. So sort of the old media, the newspapers and the magazines and all those guys, they don't have the connection to Indiana Jones that some of us geeks do. So they don't, they don't mind that it isn't a great Indiana Jones film, they're okay with it just being a decent two hours at the movies. But for those nostalgic-filled indie fans, you know, that are on the internet, that are buzzing on forums in all capital letters, does the movie do a disservice to indie, or does it just not do anything to forward the character of the franchise? I mean, this isn't this isn't the Phantom Menace, so, you know, don't get me wrong. This right. isn't like, you know, we're not, we're not pissing on, on Raiders of the Lost Ark, but we're just not doing as well as we could be here. It just is not the movie. If it took them 20 years to make this movie, they could have waited another year to get it right. Well, George Lucas has said in some recent days that, that a fifth Indiana Jones movie is actually possible, but it's going to come down to how this film performs. What do you think? Is it going to be successful enough that they'll actually continue the franchise further? Uh, this movie could be called Indiana Jones and the Mystery of the Tijuana Donkey Show, and it would still make <laughs> $350 million, no I, I doubt. Would, I would see it twice, that's, I would, that's for sure. I pre-ordered the Blu-ray of that one. So. <laughs> All right, well, you know, if that happens, not that the, the movie gets a rename, but if it actually does very well, could or, in your opinion, should the franchise continue with maybe Shia wearing the hat? You know, I would like to see this franchise come to an end. If they had to put Shia in, in, in the, the lead role, I think he really acquits himself in this movie. He's a, he's a good sidekick. He's got some good action stuff. The problem is his character's name is Mutt Williams. So I don't know what you have, like, Mutt Williams in the Lost City of Atlantis and Mutt Williams and Saucer right. Men from Mars. It's just a, a crappy title. Well, and Saucer Men from Mars is ridiculous. That totally violates anything in the storyline. But awesome, Dev. Thank you so much for joining us and keeping us in the loop. We Thank appreciate you. it, sir.